The ocean's depths, dark, mysterious, alluring. They beckon with a siren song, drawing some to explore their hidden wonders. Freediving, the purest form of diving, allows us to answer this call. No tanks, no cages, just a single breath and the courage to venture into the blue. Imagine plunging into the abyss, the pressure mounting, the light fading above. It's a journey into another world, a test of human limits. This is the world of the deep diver, where silence reigns and the boundaries of human potential are redefined. These underwater explorers are not superhuman. They are individuals driven by a passion for the deep. They train their bodies and minds, pushing beyond perceived limits to explore the final frontier on Earth. This is their story. One such pioneer is Herbert Nitsch, an Austrian freediver who has repeatedly broken world records. Nicknamed the deepest man alive, Nitsch's journey is a testament to dedication and the pursuit of excellence. Then there's William Truebridge, a New Zealand native who has dominated the discipline of constant weight freediving. Truebridge's meditative approach and meticulous training have allowed him to reach astounding depths on a single breath. Another legend is Tanya Streeter, a British-born freediver who shattered records in multiple disciplines. Her strength, grace, and unwavering focus in the face of danger are an inspiration to many. These are just a few of the remarkable individuals who have dedicated their lives to exploring the ocean's abyss, pushing the boundaries of human potential with each dive. Herbert Nitsch holds over 30 world records in freediving, with his deepest dive reaching an astonishing 253 meters on a single breath. This incredible achievement is not just a testament to his physical prowess, but also to his mental strength and determination. Nietzsche has spent countless hours training, pushing the limits of what the human body can endure underwater. This feat, equivalent to the height of the Eiffel Tower, is a testament to his rigorous training and physiological adaptations. Imagine standing at the base of the Eiffel Tower and looking up. Now picture diving that same distance into the ocean's depths on a single breath. It's a mind-boggling comparison that highlights the extreme nature of his accomplishment. William Truebridge specializes in constant weight freediving, where divers descend and ascend using only their fins. This discipline requires not only physical strength, but also precise technique and an unwavering focus. Truebridge's dedication to mastering this form of freediving has earned him numerous records and accolades. He has plunged to depths exceeding 100 meters, holding his breath for over four minutes. This remarkable ability to control his breath and remain calm under pressure is what sets him apart in the world of freediving. Tanya Streeter's accomplishments are equally impressive. She has broken multiple records and continues to inspire with her incredible feats. She holds the women's world record in No Limits Freediving, reaching a depth of 160 meters. This discipline allows the use of a weighted sled to descend and an inflatable bag to ascend, yet it still demands immense physical and mental strength, a feat that showcased her incredible breath-holding capacity and mental fortitude. Streeter's ability to push through the physical and psychological barriers of deep diving is truly awe-inspiring. These record-breaking dives are not just numbers on a page. They represent years of dedication, training, and the relentless pursuit of pushing human limits. They are a testament to the human spirit's ability to overcome seemingly insurmountable challenges. Each dive is a story of perseverance, courage, and the unyielding desire to explore the unknown depths of our planet's oceans. Section 4. A Symphony of Mind and Body Techniques of the Deep Divers Deep diving is as much a mental game as it is a physical one. The mind must be as prepared as the body to face the challenges of the deep. Divers use various techniques, including meditation and visualization, to calm their minds and conserve oxygen. Meditation helps them achieve a state of tranquility, while visualization allows them to mentally rehearse their dives, 
reducing anxiety and enhancing focus. This mental discipline is crucial for managing the intense pressure and sensory deprivation of the deep. The ability to remain calm and composed under such conditions can make the difference between a successful dive and a dangerous situation. Physical training focuses on increasing lung capacity and improving cardiovascular efficiency. Divers engage in rigorous exercises to enhance their endurance and ability to hold their breath for extended periods. Divers practice breath-holding exercises, yoga, and dynamic stretching to prepare their bodies for the extreme conditions. Yoga helps improve flexibility and control, while dynamic stretching ensures their muscles are ready for the physical demands of deep diving. They also acclimatize their bodies to pressure changes through repeated dives to increasing depths. This gradual exposure helps their bodies adapt to the increasing pressure reducing the risk of decompression sickness. This gradual adaptation allows their bodies to withstand the immense pressure found in the abyss. The deeper they go, the more their bodies learn to cope with the harsh environment. The key to successful deep diving lies in the synergy of mind and body, a delicate balance of physical prowess, mental resilience, and technical mastery. Each dive is a testament to the diver's dedication, training, and the harmonious connection between their mental and physical states. Section 5. The Pressure Cooker – Physical and Mental Challenges The ocean's depths present formidable challenges. As divers descend deeper into the abyss, the increasing pressure compresses their lungs, making it harder to breathe and reducing their lung volume to a fraction of their surface size. This drastic reduction in lung volume can be dangerous. This compression can lead to lung squeeze, a life-threatening condition where the lungs are unable to expand properly. Nitrogen narcosis, also known as rapture of the deep, is another significant risk. As divers go deeper, nitrogen dissolves into the bloodstream under pressure, which can cause a range of symptoms. It can lead to disorientation, hallucinations, and impaired judgment, making it difficult to make sound decisions underwater. Deep divers also face the constant threat of shallow water blackout, a dangerous condition. This occurs when there is a sudden drop in blood oxygen levels upon ascent, leading to a loss of consciousness. To prevent this, divers must constantly monitor their depth and ascent rate, using specialized equipment to ensure safety. Overcoming these challenges demands rigorous preparation, unwavering focus, and extensive training. Divers must also have a deep respect for the unforgiving nature of the ocean, understanding that it is a powerful and unpredictable environment. Regular practice of emergency drills and simulated situations is crucial for ensuring that divers are prepared for any eventuality. Sharing experiences and discussing challenges with fellow divers can also provide valuable insights and support. Ultimately, the combination of physical endurance, mental resilience, and respect for the ocean allows divers to safely explore the depths and appreciate the beauty of the underwater world.